All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, happy Wednesday and Thursday. I hope you all are doing well. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of any updates about me or my life that I should share, and nothing comes to mind, um, but we are still enjoying our time together as a family. I think it's interesting all that's happening in the news as far as uh, places opening back up. I would just caution you to, uh, to uh, be careful. Uh, we're not really going to change a whole lot because if we all converge on all these places to eat and places to shop and go and watch movies, then we're going to create the same problem again. Um, but I am not the expert. I'm just a common sense thinker. All right, guys, hope you enjoy um, the latter part of your week and your weekend. Um, I'd love to see you all on Friday at 1 and today at 1. So Wednesday at 1. It's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 o'clock um, for half an hour. So anything you want to talk about or ask, um, I'm available. So let's go ahead and jump right into the lesson. I'm going to try to keep it shorter than I've ever kept it before. Okay. Which means I have to start right now. No more talking. All right, here we go. So, uh, this is more practice. We're on 7.5 part three. Notice I've scratched out the four. We're on part three for us. Okay. So we're going to use the discriminant. Remember the discriminant is B squared minus four AC to determine the number of real solutions. And then we're going to use the quadratic formula to figure out what those solutions are, okay? So first we need to take a look at this, okay? We're gonna dive straight into the discriminant, which is this four AC. I'm gonna plug that in, so B is four, so four squared minus four times A, which is negative four, and C, which is 15. Okay, so this is A, this is B, this is C. And when I find that these values, so that's 16 and then a negative four times another negative four, times 15, right? These two negatives make a positive, ends up being 240. The sum of these is 256, and that's nice because that's a perfect square. But if the discriminant is this value right here, if it's greater than zero, then we're gonna have two real solutions. Okay. Now we're gonna go look at what those solutions are. So minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC all divided by or over 2a. So let's plug these values in. So negative b will be as positive, so this is going to be a negative 4, plus or minus the square root of 256, that's the discriminant, divided by 2 times a, which is negative 4. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this thing with the square root of 256 taken and this simplified. So negative 4 plus or minus 16 is the square root of 256, all divided by negative 8. Okay, so we've got two options here. We've got negative 4 plus 16 divided by negative 8, and we have negative 4 minus 16 divided by negative 8. Okay, these two right here make positive 12 over negative 8. When I do that in my calculator, that gives me negative 1.5 paired with zero. Okay, so that is this one. And then these two give me negative 20 divided by negative eight. And when I do that math, it is 2.5. And remember our solutions are always paired with zero because they cross the x-axis. All right, number one is done. Let's jump over to the second one. Okay, so this is in standard form. A is 1, B is negative 8, C is 16. Okay, so B squared minus 4AC is negative 8 squared. Now, a lot of people are doing 8 squared and then calling it negative. If you don't put the negative in parentheses, it's going to make this a negative 64. Any two negative numbers multiplied together are always positive, so that has to be in parentheses. So minus 4, A is 1, C is 16. Okay, so negative 8 times negative 8 is positive 64. And then negative 4 times 16 is negative 64. So the two of those combine equals 0. When the discriminant is equal to 0, we have only one solution. And let's go find that. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So b is negative here. So negative, negative 8 plus or minus 
all of that's zero, right? The square root of zero over two times one. Okay, so negative, negative eight, this is a positive four over two, which equals, oh, sorry, positive eight over two, which equals four. So our vertex is at four comma zero, one solution. All right, moving along quickly. The great thing about these videos is you can pause them and rewatch them as many times as needed. Okay, so we've got this. Now this is not in standard form, so we need to take 10x and subtract it from both sides. And I'm gonna rewrite this right here. So three x squared plus, nope, oops, minus 10x plus five equals zero. So a is three, b is negative 10, and c is five, okay? So let's do this for space sake. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in uh, b squared is negative 10 squared minus four times three times five, which is our a value and our c value. So this is 100 minus 12 times five, which is 60 minus 60 equals 40. All right, so we have two solutions because the discriminant is greater than zero. Now let's go find those. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is 40 here, all over 2 times a. So let's plug these values in. So negative b, well, b is negative, so negative negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 40 all over 2 times a, which is 3. Okay, so we've got positive 10 because those two negatives make a positive, plus or minus. Now, here's where we need to simplify. So I'm going to come over here on the side and create a factor tree. This radical can be simplified. So let's break it down. Since 40 is even, let's take out 2. And then this gives us 20. And I know that 4 and 5, okay, 4 breaks down into 2 and 2. I have a pair here, which means I get to pull one of these out. And we underline the ones that are left in there without a partner, okay? So 2 times 5 is this is 10. So the square root of 10 is stuck under the radical. And then the square root of 4 is 2 4s, or, or excuse me, is 2 2s. So we get to take one of those out, okay? So 2 square root 10, and then all of that is divided by 6, okay? So our two solutions are found within this plus minus. So one solution is 10 plus 2 square root 10 divided by six, and that's paired with zero. And the other solution is 10 minus two square root 10 over six, and that is also paired with zero. Now those are numbers, right? But we're leaving them in simplest radical form, okay? All right, let's jump to the last one, and then we can be done with this lesson. Remember, we're just practicing using the quadratic formula. All right, so this negative 14, is not over here. We need it to be over there so that it can be in proper uh, standard form. So add 14 to both sides. That leaves us with 2x squared minus 20x plus 14 equals zero. So the discriminant is b squared, so negative 20 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, and times c, which is 14. All right, this is 400, and we're going to take away the product of those three numbers is 112. And then the difference there is 288. So we have negative B, and I'm gonna let you refer to the quadratic formula here, okay? Because space is an issue for this particular problem. Let me move this over just a 10. All right, so negative B, so X equals negative, well, B is negative 20, so I'm gonna put that in parentheses plus or minus the square root of the discriminant, which is 288, all divided by 2 times a, which is 2. Okay, now here, 288, this can be simplified. Okay, so I'm going to jump over here, 288. It breaks down into 2 times 144. And then 144 actually is, is a perfect square. It's 12 times 12, which is great because that means we get to circle these two and one of these 12s gets pulled out of the radical, okay? But this two is left under there. So negative, negative 20 is positive 20. 
plus or minus, remember we get to pull a 12 out because the square root of 144 is 12, plus or minus 12, but the two didn't have a partner, so it's the square root of two, all over four. Now, here's something unique, and we have not seen this yet, okay? But anytime you divide a numerator, if it has multiple parts, then you have to divide every part of the numerator, okay? So 20 gets divided by four, and then this 12 square root two gets divided by four, okay? We could leave it here, but it's not really simplified fully. So I'm gonna come down here. 20 divided by four is five, and 12 divided by four is three. So plus or minus three square root two. Now the four is gone, right? Because we divided the 20 into four groups, there were five. And it's gone for the, this side too, because 12 divided into four groups was three groups, okay? So our two solutions are five plus three square root two paired with zero and five minus three square root two paired with zero. So these are our two uh, x-intercepts or the solutions, okay? All right, so um, make sure that you get these problems done for homework this time. I'm going to assign all four of these, okay? And uh, here is what, how you're gonna be graded. So you're gonna get uh, a grade for the number of real solutions but I'm looking at your discriminants. If you don't have your discriminants and you just write in two or one or zero, oh, we totally forgot to do this part right here. Um, we have two solutions because our discriminant was 288, okay? So I'm looking for work. Make sure you show all of your work on paper and uh, then take a photo of it, okay? All right, I hope you all are well. Um, lots going on in each of our lives, I know. Try your best to, uh, to get all your schoolwork done. Please reach out for any help that you need. Uh, have a great Wednesday and Thursday.